<laughs> yeah. Nice. Yo, I just I just got a guitar, eh? Yeah, is that yeah, what's going on? Cool. Look. Check it out. Yeah, apparently it's from 1970. Wow. Are you filming this shit? Alright, yeah, yeah. go. Alright. Uh, where I got it, it was like uh, it's like a whole bunch of funky stuff. Had like some Nazi stuff. Oh yeah. Like a, I actually got a Panchavilla. It's an original uh painting. Cool. Or a, a photo actually. It's like the paper's all funky and shit. Cool. So I got that, I'm gonna put it up in the wall. So that's cool. And uh, yeah man. Well, I gotta go to work just now. We only got like maybe like five minutes. <laughs> All right. But um, yeah, man, I'll say my piece. Cool. And uh, well, first off, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Justin Quesada, aka Henry, aka Raphael, aka JQ, aka Jizzy J, aka Just Incredible, aka <laughs> Die Hard, aka I can go for a minute, aka you can call me whatever you want. Um, hey, buddy. <laughs> Wow, it's perfect. <laughs> What's his name? Or her name? Carly. Her name? Carly. Carly? Carly. What's up, Carly? <laughs> Carly uh, Simon? Carly. <laughs> right on, right on. <laughs> Alright, well, first off, uh, one more time. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the camera, girl. <laughs> Want something up? Here, I'll get you a good one. Come here. Alright, let's see. Sit, this. sit, sit. Up. Up. No, hey. Up. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Right. Thank you. for the camera. <laughs> we go. You know how many people got that picture? Yeah, tons, eh? Tons. I appreciate yeah, there was a school here. Um, they were doing something for pets or something. Uh -huh. I made her perform. Yeah, do tricks. <laughs> yeah, she knows a few. That's cool. Yeah. Well, thank it's you cute. for sharing, man. Cheers. Take care, brother. You too, man. You too. All right. Uh, well, right now what's going on is... Uh, well, first off, I just met my brother uh, Justin for the first time. Yeah. What's up? Find the up? camera. Yes. Holding it down. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean. And right now, what I'm doing is I'm tapping into the arts. Um, uh, throughout my life, uh, I've dabbled in it and through my times of darkness, and you know, I was never actually able to focus because I was always either fighting with somebody, the world, or myself. And right now, I feel balanced. I feel centered, and now I'm ready to to shine. Um, right now, what I'm doing is I'm teaching myself guitar, piano. I uh, have a couple buddies that are helping me with vocals. I, I met a buddy, uh, his name is Melvin, he's from North Carolina, he's helping me with the vocals. And um, I have a buddies that were helping with, you know, ciphering and rhyming and, you know, giving, giving me uh, points and, you know, a give and take. And what I, what I do is I'm a personal trainer, I'm an aspiring personal trainer. And I, uh, I'm a Reiki um, practitioner, I got my third degree. And I'm starting to open up my own services. And I have ideas of how to unite the world and, know with like-minded people like Justin here cool and you know, ready to shine I guess right now well, I actually started rhyming like a, a week and a day ago so I'll spit a little bit of a rhyme I started rhyming off with cat and hat you know what I mean yeah. it's simple but uh, let me draw something uh, real quick all right I'm coming at you like Miley Cyrus about to hit up your main iris coming at you with a message of unconditional love ready to gather all my doves peace and love to you all and everything I do, I do for you. And without you, there is no me. And without me, there is no you. And so, a quick message. I can talk all day. Um, first off, uh, I want to give a shout out to, I guess, the inspiration of my life, of my life, all the ladies and my mom. And it doesn't matter if you're big, tall, skinny, slim, fat, big, whatever you are. I love them all. <laughs> and you know, if you if, even if you're hot, which is uh, you know, which is nice, but you know, one thing you can't hide is when you're crippled inside, and I can see that in your eye. Now, you know, like Christina Aguilera says, you know, you're beautiful no matter what what they say, and you know, it may not feel like that based with all the me in the media and all the news and all the junk that we're that we're fed, and you know, I've gone through myself. I've I've taken vanity pills. I've taken, you know, stuff for my ADD and, you know, I, I'll get into that later in a later time, but, you know, I don't really have that much time, you know, the man is trying to hold me down and I gotta be at work. Hey, 11 <laughs> 11, <laughs> what? <There> you <laughs> what? Holding you back. Oh, G20's oh. coming up, G20 something. Oh, the, G, the G20, yeah, the G20. Um, I'm trying to do something big, I'm trying to gather all the supporters. I've been networking all over the world. I have, I have my flock, I have my sheep, and, 
you know, ready to turn sheep into lions, you know what I mean? Awesome. And I guess uh, I've been working on some vocals, maybe I can sing it or something for sure, you guys. Man. <clears throat> All right. I close my eyes, drew back the curtain to see for certain what I thought I knew far, far away. Someone was weeping and the world was sleeping. Well, I gotta bounce. <laughs> nice. Is that original? Is that yours? Or? It's Joseph, man, it's from Joseph. the play, yo. <laughs> from, uh, Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber. But uh, yeah, man, I'm coming at ya. Well, first, uh, first, my first act of duty is to master hip hop and do the progression of where I'm at. I'm learning all these all these things, and right now, like, I'm still learning the notes, and eventually, maybe, in the, well, may not maybe, I will in like four years, uh, you know. My goal is to be a rock god and you know shred, <laughs> shred the guitar and stuff. And you know, I've had many inspirations from from Rafi, you know, an elephant sat on Justin, to you know Marilyn Manson, beautiful people. Cool. Marilyn Manson was the first uh, first musical choice I actually picked by myself instead of uh, without my dad's influence when I was like in grade four. Oh yeah. Yeah. So let's just oh, right on, right on, right on. Like I, at the time, like I remember when I, when I was a kid, like. Like I remember uh, that when uh, Nirvana came out, Guns yeah. N' Roses, and you know Silverchair, like like all the girls, like they're all like they're all getting into that. You know, they're oh, the another fun thing, I want to give a shout out to all the artists of the world. Um, you know, without you guys, I wouldn't be here today. Um, you know, there was a period of my life, like for a couple of years, where I, I there's no music, there's no TV, there's no phone, there's no family, there's no friends, and I was just in my my darkness. And when I say I, I feel you, I feel you. Um, you know, I have many scars internally and externally, and you know, even and these are things that you can see. You know, I got, I got my stretch marks, got bite marks, and I got cracked heads, I have broken nose, one eye is bigger, uh, higher than the other. You know, I actually got this playing hockey with a with a skate. Oh, shout out to Matt Sandin one more time, <laughs> right there. Shout out to Matt Sandin. Oh, one last message because I gotta go. Um, example of, of media manipulation. Matt Sandin has provided services for us for, for about was it 13 seasons? Yeah, a lot of seasons. A lot of seasons and you know he was my hero, you know he was humble, he had the village mentality, he united the city and just by the persuasion of the media and how it all went down, we were quick to turn on our hero. <laughs> and you know what I mean? And I remember when he came and he pumped, he pumped the puck in the shootout. No, no, yeah, I, I, I caught, remember, a, I I caught a puck from him actually when I went to a practice. Yeah? Yeah, he flipped one up in the air. I remember that shit. Like, fuck, he went, duh, duh, duh. Ah. Yeah. And after fucking pumped it in our, in our face and, and he gave us one of these, you know what I mean? And only when we lose something, either that example or anything in life, is when we actually truly learn to appreciate it. You know what I mean? It's true. Even the ability to walk, the ability to eat, you know, the ability just to look at somebody in the eye. Yeah, because everyone's afraid to look at each other in the eyes and connect. Yeah, man. It's, it's true. And it's afraid to connect with yourself, basically. Yeah. And another thing, too, smile more. Because, you know, I remember one time I was in my darkness and, you know, like I used to, I used to go to work and stuff and just sort of mundane routine. And, you know, I remember I used to go, I used to, go to the washroom on my breaks and just, you know, wait till, you know, my time was up. And, like, I remember one time, like, you know, you think you think crazy, you know what I mean? You just, you just look over a ledge and you know you start thinking shit, and you know like one day, you know some dude, some random dude just smiled at me and you know said hello and he saw the pain in me because I felt that he felt what I was going through and you know he saved my life. And thank you. Here it is. I'm sure as many I've been there too, and I feel I feel that's what we're here for to shine a light onto each other when we need it. So reflect it. For sure, yo. Uh, let's see if I can like bust one, one of these. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. Peace and love. Right. I'll see you next time. Take it easy, man. Peace. <laughs> so that was Justin. Just met him today. Meeting new people every day, it seems. And this is what I've been uh, wanting to do for a while. 
connect with like-minded individuals and, uh, and I feel uh, he's got a lot of energy, he's got a lot of creation on the go. Reminds me of myself when you know, you're just so excited for what's going to be and what's already there that you just want to express yourself. And that's what I feel he did today. He expressed himself, his feelings, his perception for the world. And if you're out there, you're watching, hopefully you could take something from it and appreciate it and understand what's going on in the reality channels of.